Welcome to CETUS's Voice over IP phone training video series. The phones shown here are cordless 9600 IP models, but the software shown in this video has a user interface that's common across all CETUS SIP phones. First, you want to provide power to the phone by plugging one end of an Ethernet cable into the wide area network or the WAN port of the phone and the other end of the cable into a power over ethernet switch or a PoE power injector. Once the phone boots up, you'll hear the config ID prompt tone, signaling you to type a number into the dial pad of the phone, telling the phone to retrieve a configuration file from the provisioning server. In our case, we don't yet have a configuration file on a provisioning server, so we'll just press the hashtag key to get an IP address for the phone from the DHCP server instead. To retrieve our phone's IP address so that we can then access and program the phone through our web browser, we'll press star star four seven pound one zero dot four zero dot one dot two five three. Type that IP address into a web browser and then log in with the user and password of admin admin all lowercase. At that point you'll see the default screen where you have network information. We'll go to primary register and enable the service where you can then put in your credentials, telephone number, username, password, and the PBX IP address or a fully qualified domain name. That will work as well. Apply. The phone will go out and register, and it will show you that it's registered up in the left hand corner. And that is as simple as it gets for your initial registration.